to come into the profession and almost like a well-baked bread. Now, I for one do not agree with that. Nobody in the field can be asked to perform after he comes out of the academic studies. So it is extremely, extremely important that he undergoes practical training during his academic studies and later on when he joins the profession, wherever he joins, whatever he does, he should undergo a pro proper and extensive training in whatever the persons who have employed him or the industry who has employed him wants from him. He can only deliver, he can only be called a well-baked bread only after he has undergone the extensive training. Students, as a student, I would like to advise you is that you must identify your own deficiencies. Where is the shortfall? What you still further need to learn? And then continue to learn. It's very important. Don't be under a wrong impression that your learning is over now. So learning is a very, very important thing one has to do when one is in profession. You have to continuously learn the various practical aspects in the field or in the design office and this will help you to gain a good amount of practical knowledge. Dear students, you should identify your own deficiencies and thereafter do your own reading as well as referring. You have to ask questions not only to yourself but also to the professionals who are in the field and who are willing to share their useful experience with you. I really appreciate the help given to me by Mr. A.P. Remedios, engineer A.P. Remedios, when I was working in the Tata Power Company. Mr. K.P. Batiwala, who was our senior consultant in the Tata Power Company. And later on, when I joined Ambuja Cement, the contributions of engineer Bairam T. Unwala were very, very useful to me in my professional career. And this really gave me a very good advantage over the others, as well as over my other fellow engineers who are coming in touch with me. I was lucky that when I started my career that I was working for a very prestigious organization like the Tata Power Company Limited. And after a few years of my experience, I had to go on the large projects where they were building their 500 megawatt power stations and that also in Mumbai and this experience I can tell you maybe a few years but it was worth few decades. I really learned what is C for concrete and various other requirements of concrete and after getting good practical experience, I understood that concrete can be looked upon as 
a human being because concrete has similar properties and behaves in a similar manner like a human being. Like for example, when concrete is just born like a newborn child, it needs full attention and careful handling till it goes of age and then grows stronger and also durable so that we can enjoy that material for our lifetime. It is good to learn from your own mistakes. But you can also learn from other people's mistakes, provided they are willing to share their mistakes with you. In our profession, I have seen that many senior professionals do not share their mistakes. As a result, somebody else makes that mistake and mistakes goes on and on without any remedy. But if one shares his or her mistakes, then the future generation gets a very big advantage and they do not repeat the mistake which the other civil engineer or the senior civil engineer has made. When you go into the profession and become a slightly senior, you will understand that you will definitely have to handle more things than what you had imagined. Especially both in the design as well as in the construction field, a civil engineer is always burdened with lots of unnecessary work, which I would consider, and very little of technicality. Therefore, what you have to do in life is, if you want your life to go on smoothly in profession, you must learn how to prioritize. You must prioritize what you want to do in life and in profession. For example, I always had one priority that whatever work I do, I deliver with the best of quality. And maybe many people in my organization or in the contracting organizations may not have liked that priority as they were aiming at some other priorities. But I went on doing that with a little bit of success, with a little bit of setback. But ultimately, I can assure you that quality will always win. And quality is always to be preferred for speed and economy. Today, if you tell me, I would rather put quality and safety at the same platform. And because from my own experience, I have seen that there are many unpardonable accidents which take place during the construction, maybe due to the designer's fault or maybe due to the person who has himself met with the accident. But this can be avoided if there is proper training given to the worker, both in the field of quality and safety. You can always work out a solution and therefore always get a better job done than the others. Training is a very important sort of a curriculum when you are in profession. Many people in the industry feel that the engineer should learn everything when he graduates out or when he becomes a postgraduate or he does a diploma so that they can use him wherever they want and for whatever they want. I think this will never happen. 
especially because training is quite often neglected in the industry, especially in our civil engineering industry. If you ask a contractor whether he has trained workers, he will look at you and say, Oh, my friend, I cannot afford training because these workers, once they are trained, they will find a job outside and all my investment in training will go waste. If every contractor or every person in the field thinks that training cannot be done because it will be used by the worker somewhere else, then he is very badly mistaken. Because he can also get a trained worker from somewhere, he can also acquire a trained person from some other contractor. And it is a very long ending or unending process. And learning every bit of civil engineering in academic is not at all essential or not at all required. What one has to do is expertise in the field wherein one has some interest and wherein the student or the civil engineer enjoys his work. Necessity is the mother of invention. This is a very well-known saying. But I have coined another saying, habit is the father of reluctance to change. And in our Indian culture, we always believe more in fathers than in mothers. So we do not like to change. But I would request all of you who are going to be civil engineers and who are civil engineers that you must form a habit to change. If you want to improve in life, you must change. If you want to improve in profession and knowledge, you must change. Because only change will help you to do better. But mind you, all changes in life will not give you success. So you should be very careful in what direction you want to change in what direction you want to learn. Friends, I had a great opportunity to work for two very big companies, the Tata Power Company for 21 years and six months. And the other company was Gujarat Ambuja Cement. Later on, it was called Ambuja Cements Limited for again 21 years and 15 days. What I learned in the Tata Power Company on their large prestigious projects, I taught from the platform given to me by Ambuja Cement. And many professionals, many students took that advantage and whatever best I can do, whatever I felt was very important for a practicing engineer, civil engineer to know, I taught. In Ambuja Cement, we published around 158 booklets on various aspects of civil engineering, various rather various practical aspects of civil engineering, giving some very good tips these books are extensively being used to teach construction management and civil engineering in many colleges in our country, including the IITs. After leaving the profession, I thought that my knowledge can still be utilized and I was lucky that my own Eliminus offered me a post of an adjunct professor in civil engineering and they started a course on 
construction management and technology specially to cater to what we feel as an on the job training type we started this program about 6 months back and now we have completed the first term and some of the professional civil engineers are also doing this this is an mtech program and i am teaching quality and safety and i am also utilizing some of my own booklets which i had written down when i was in